Hi, my name is Wyatt Groth and welcome back to the Hammersmith DIY channel. In today's product review video, we're going to be talking to you about our range of timber handrails. Now what you see in front of you here is our full range of different handrail profiles that we manufacture at our business here in, uh, in Adelaide in Australia. Um, this range of handrail profiles is something that we have developed over a period of time and we've slowly added to the range as, as we've had demand from people or, or just generally looking to do something a little bit different. So what I thought I'd do today is just run through the different handrail profiles we have, give you a little bit of information on the sizing, the different timbers that are available and the like um, so that you've got an idea of what you need if you want to order some from our website which uh, is hammersmith.com.au. Okay, let's get started. Right, first up I wanted to talk to you about our three profiles that we produce, which is in a, in a Dow. Um, so as you see it a bit better here, I've got this little board, which is a, a dark colored board. I thought it might be a bit easier for to take a look at for the three different profiles of Dow that we produce. The one in the middle here is actually the first uh, Dow we started manufacturing our business. It's 50 million diameter, but as you can see here on the bottom, it has a, a flat base to it. And this was a profile we initially introduced to our range. And then as we went on, we decided to add two new profiles to our range, which was a 50 mil diameter full down. So a no flat base, as you can see, and then a 43 mil diameter down, uh, also a full round. Now, the reason why we, we offered these three different sizes was just uh, basically to do with timbers available and, and demand that we had from customers. And, and that was the reasons why we end up with three, which are fairly similar, but they all offer some slightly different characteristics. So the first product here is what we call our Easy Rail, um, the original Easy Rail, and it's uh, the product code for this one is uh, JH130T. And all of these are products I'm gonna show you here, I'm gonna put a link to the description below. And as I said, it's 50 mil in diameter and uh, about uh, 44 millimeters tall. Uh, this particular profile is available in Victorian ash and pine, and the pine that we do is, is a finger jointed product. I'll just show you here. This is another hand roll I'm about to show you shortly. But uh, if you take a close look here, you can see on the top here, we've got this uh, sort of zigzag pattern. That is what we call finger joining. And in a number of the profiles we do in the pine, in fact, all the profiles we do in the pine, that is how we, we offer it. And the reason for that is, generally speaking, the pine is something which is designed to be painted. And so the beauty of a finger joining is it allows us to buy it in long lengths, uh, which sometimes can be uh, difficult otherwise to do. So we've got long lengths. Because it's mainly for paint purposes, it doesn't matter. Structurally, the finger joining is just as strong as a piece of timber. So don't be afraid from a finger joining point of view. It's certainly a strong product. So going back to this product, as I said, this was our uh, 50 mil diameter with a, a flat base that's available in Victorian ash and pine. Moving on from there, we have our 50 millimeter full down here. So this is a, a 50 mil diameter full round. Uh, this one actually uh, is available in a number of different species. We produce it in the Victorian ash, like you see here. We also have it in American oak, Maranti and pine. Um, and as you can see, this one here is actually a, 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 a laminated product, a two piece lamination. Um, any of our products we sell here in terms of being used inside or outside application, basically all of the pine we would advise do not use outside. The pine is not treated, it's not designed for outside use. And any of the Victorian ash that I show you here, we would not recommend you using it outside if it's made up of a laminated product. So for example, this one, which is a two piece lamination, if you can just see here, uh, we, we definitely wouldn't advise you to use outside because the glues we use for this are only desired for this in, inside application. So that's our 50 mil that we produce. And as I said, then we went down to a 43 mil diameter rail and the 43 mil diameter rail uh, is available in a number of different species. The Victorian ash, like you see here, we also do it in the pine, the American oak. Uh, we do it in a, a spotted gum and also a black butt. Um, there are other timbers. Uh, if you have a look on our website, you can see uh, uh, some Jarrah, Quila, but in terms of the ones we stock, uh, mainly those, those species I just said before. And the product code for this product is JH130T. 
so JH070. The 50 mil, the product code for this is JH099. The next product we're having here in our range is what we call our monorail. And the product code for this is JH050. So JH is joinery handrail. So JH050, and this particular product here, the monorail, uh, is 65 mil wide by 45 millimeters high. As you can see, it has a flat base to it. And this particular product is available in Victorian ash and pine. From there, we move on to our Victorian rail. Um, a little bit more of a traditional profile you can see here. The product code for this is JH235. And as I said earlier, all of these products are gonna be listed in the description below. So you can find quick links to the website. Uh, so JH235, this product is 70 mil wide by 45 mil high. And as I said, a bit more of a traditional profile. Like all of our range here, available in a Victorian ash and a pine. Now I should say, with the both the monorail and the Victorian rail, uh, you may notice here on the end with the Victorian ash that it's not a laminated product. So there's no timber glued together. This comes out of a solid piece of timber. As a result for this, you could use this outside if you wanted to. Um, once again, not in pine, but certainly in the Victorian ash, there's no glues, so there's no issues of delamination or anything like that. Now we have our Vancouver rail. Uh, this was a product which uh, actually I picked up from a, a, a supplier in, in Vancouver, in uh, Canada. Um, I asked him when we were over there, I said, look, what's your most popular rail? And he came back to me and said, this is our best seller. Uh, it's a good product for use on a wall. Um, so yeah, I came back and I thought, well, you know, this is something we could start producing ourselves. Uh, the product code for this is JH044. And this particular product is 55 millimeters wide by 42 millimeters high. As you said, quite a simple profile, um, but um, you know, what I would call a modern modern sort of look. Our next design here is our signature rail. And uh, this is, is a rail which really would be designed just for use on a wall. It wouldn't be designed as part of a balustrade of a staircase, really more a wall rail. Uh, just a very simple design. You can probably see uh, here that we've got some very just small pencil around on the corners, just so your hands feel comfortable on it. The actual profile itself uh, is, is 42 millimeters wide by 32 millimeters high. And the code for this one is uh, JH040. And I said that is our, our signature rail. The next profile we have here for you is what we call our prestige handrail. Um, this particular profile is, is the biggest handrail that we manufacture. It's 89 millimeters across um, by 65 millimeters high. And the product code for this particular handrail is JH170. Uh, as you can see, this particular rail is a, is a two-piece lamination, so we wouldn't advise you to use this outside at all. It's really just designed for a, a staircase a handrail as part of a balustrade. Uh, I should just point out when I go back to this last profile, couple of profiles I showed you, which was the um, the Vancouver rail and the signature rail, that these two are manufactured from solid timber, so these can definitely be used uh, in, in an outside application in the Victorian ash. Uh, these two profiles, as I said, Victorian ash and the pine, the finger joint pine, and the same with the prestige rail, also in the, the pine and the Victorian ash. Our next profile here is the California rail. Now the California rail is something like the Vancouver I picked up on a trip when I went to the US and caught up with a supplier over there and uh, we, we got chatting and, and I asked him for you know what, what, the, what the popular handrail was being used in the US and he showed me this particular design so we bought it back and thought well look why not make some, do, produce some colours for it and, and make some and, and start selling it through our, through our website. So this particular profile is 66 millimetres wide by 60 millimetres high. Uh, the code, product code for this is JH181. And um, yeah, quite a nice, uh, elegant design. Uh, maybe a bit more traditional than some of the others. I mean, if you compare it to, to something like that, uh, this is what I call more of a modern sort of look, whereas this one here is, is a more traditional traditional profile. Um, you can see it's a two-piece lamination. So uh, once again, I wouldn't be using this in an outside application at all. Now our next profile is something a bit different. The name we've given to it is Pig's Ear Handrail. And uh, it's actually something that we had requested from a customer to manufacture as, as a wall rail. 
And so if you're looking at it in a flat situation like this, it looks a bit unusual, but it's actually designed to go on a slightly different scenario. How this is actually fixed is it's tilted up like so. So if, for example, this was your wall, um, you can see here, that's the handrail and how it looks on the wall. So that's how you actually mount it to your wall. So you'd mount this to the wall, obviously from, I'll just lay it down here like so. Then when your hand grips on it, that's how it goes. So it's quite a, um, it's actually a traditional profile, but we've, we've had a fair bit of demand for something like this of late um, in sort of a, a more uh, modern type setting. Um, the particular handrail code is uh, JH159. And this particular profile, it actually sits, uh, it sits uh, 63 mil off the wall. So the distance from here to where it comes off the wall is 63 mil, and the overall height of the handrail is about 77 millimeters. Uh, but quite a quite a nice looking profile. Something very different to any of the others. Now, our final handrail profile here is the handrail profile that we've been running probably the longest in our business, which is what we call our heritage rail. And our heritage rail, the code for our heritage rail is JH005. So joinery handrail number five basically. And this particular profile is a very traditional profile as you can see here. Uh, the diameters, uh, dimensions are 65 millimeters wide by 65 millimeters high. So it's proportional. And this particular profile is something that we, as I said, we've been manufacturing for a long time. We actually produce it in four different timbers. So what you actually see here is actually a piece of Maranti. So Maranti, Victorian ash, pine and American oak. Now all four of those species, if you see here the pine, all four of those species are made up of a laminated product. So we don't advise for this particular handrail to be used in an outside application. Uh, but as I said, you've got four different species that are available in this particular profile because it's probably one of our most popular profiles that we produce, the heritage rail. Now one thing I did want to show you with our handrails, in particular the heritage rail is a good example of it, is the ability for us to run a rebate on the handrail. So if you're wondering what a rebate is, I'll just grab a piece here to show you. This here is a rebated handrail, and what we've got here is a handrail rebate that is 42 mil across by a depth of around about 10 millimeters. And you might be wondering, well, why would you want to rebate a handrail? The reason is, and when producing a balustrade on a staircase, you may want to be able to put the balusters in the handrail. So I've got a baluster down here to give you an example of what we're talking about. So this here is a baluster we produce, uh, which is 42 by 42, you see that's just a turn baluster. So imagine that on a staircase, what you would do is you would put your handrail over the top like so, it's a tight fit, but you can see here, I'll just... So we have the ability to run a, a rebate in the handrail. And this is something that you can add uh, on our online shop. We've got a section there in the shop, uh, which is titled uh, Joinery Handrail Rebate. Um, where you can order the handrail that you need uh, for the job and then you can order some rebate to be put in it. Now the standard rebate we produce is 42 mil. We also do one where we can offer one for you where it's 16 mil across and the reason why it's 16 mil across is for the metal balusters that we also sell. We can uh, do special rebates um, but if you have something special that is not 42 or 16 mil I'd encourage you to contact us first and uh, so we can see if we can do it. Now, the important part here is with the rebate, in particular the 42 mil rebate, not all of the handrail profiles we can do that on. So I just wanted to very quickly show you the ones that we can produce so that you, you know when ordering, and it is stayed on the website. But in simple terms, these are the handrails that we can run the rebate in. So we've obviously got our heritage rail profile, our California profile, Prestige rail profile, the Victorian rail, and the monorail. These five designs are the ones that we can produce a rebate in for you. The other designs we do are too small for us to realistically put a rebate in. So it's not a service obviously we offer. Now, the two most common questions we get asked on our website about our handrails are, what lengths do the handrails come in? and how do I order them online? And so I just wanted to briefly discuss with you here 
the answer to those two questions. In regards to the length that the handrails come in, the pine product, uh, generally speaking, we can purchase uh, the timber and run them in 5.4 metre lengths. With the products that aren't in pine, so whether that's uh, Vic Ash or American Oak or Moranti, uh, generally speaking, the lengths tend, lengths tend to be shorter. With the Victorian Ash, uh, we can sometimes get lengths upwards of five metres uh, or a little bit shorter. Uh, the Moranti, similar. Uh, the American Oak tends to be slightly shorter though. So the American Oak, the lengths tend to be more around the sort of four metre mark. So just keep that in mind. That information is, is, is talked about on the website under each of the products where you can have a look in the, the, the descriptions and, and get some of that info. But it's quite important to know that. The other thing to note or be aware of is, let's say, uh, it's important for us to know what sort of lengths you want for these orders because you may order a certain amount of lineal meterage of the handrail um, on the website, but you may not need them in long lengths. So we would like to know that uh, when you order online because it's important from a packaging point of view. You'd well appreciate, uh, we're based in Adelaide, if we're gonna ship things all over Australia, which is what we do, the shorter the product, the less chance it has of getting damaged during transit. Now, having said that, we do ship long stuff all over Australia. It's not a big issue. Occasionally we have problems, but it's few and far between. But obviously for us from a packaging point of view, if, you want, if you're not needing long lengths, uh, just make sure in the comment section when you order the product that you let us know what lengths you are chasing, and that way we can make sure we get the right lengths for you when we send the job. And then that gets me to how do I actually order it on the website? And this is, uh, once again, a very common question we have. So the way we sell this product is we sell it by the meter. So unfortunately on the website, you can't order half of a meter or fractions of a meter. It's only available by the meter. So if you need a piece which is 1.7 meters long, you would need to order two, so two meters. If you need multiple pieces, so I need a 2.4 and a 3.4 and a, a 4.1, what you would do is you would add together all of those lengths. You would then round it up to the nearest meter and that is what you would add to your cart. Then when you get to the checkout process, there's a section within the checkout where you can write special comments. Uh, it might be delivery instructions or whatever the case might be. It is in this part of the website where you'll put down the lengths you'll need, where you'll say, look, I've ordered 12 meters of handrail, but what I want is I need a 3.6, a 4.2, and a 2.1. I'm not sure if that equals 12 meters, but you, you get what I'm saying there. So that's, that's really important for us. When you come to order, as I said, work out the total number of linear meters you need, round it up to the nearest meter, add that to your cart, and then when you get to the checkout, let us know what those lengths are, and we can make sure we can supply you the product you need. If you liked what you've seen in today's video, please remember to subscribe to our channel by hitting on the button below. And also don't forget to hit the like button for this particular video if you enjoyed what you've seen. And once again, also remember, I'm free to answer any comments you may have, so feel free to drop me a comment and uh, I can give you a response and let you know what's going on. This is Wyatt Groth, signing off. Mm -hmm.